It's time for this week's CFC Scene. This is our last program of the school year. I'm Brian Wilder. In light of the new School of Sciences and Mathematics building's official grand opening on April 16th, those who weren't able to attend are not exactly sure what makes it so, well, new. The Associate Dean for the School of Sciences and Mathematics, Bill Lindstrom, has been an avid spokesperson for the building project when it was still a full functioning parking lot, but is most excited when he's asked about the facility's state-of-the-art heating and air system. The HVAC system in this building is amazing to have uh, fresh air all the time. There's no recirculated air in this building. It's all fresh, and that's important when you're doing chemistry experiments that the atmosphere is kept clean all the time. With the system estimated at a staggering $3.4 million, the new HVAC system is the most expensive one at the college. The time has come yet again for a lucky set of students to don their most brilliant of whites and take their ceremonial leave from CFC campus. As graduation draws near, a few exiting seniors took the opportunity to give some of their final thoughts on their college experiences. What, just ultimately, how I spent every, every moment either studying or doing volunteer work or doing whatever I wanted to do was it was just a good stepping stone for the rest of my life because coming in to college I was somebody completely, I thought I knew who I was and I thought it was completely set on what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, but looking back four years from now, it's just not, not even the same at all for the good, better. Although answers may have varied, one thing that all graduating seniors can agree on is that it's good to finally be finished. If you haven't noticed lately, the 100 block of Calhoun Street has recently received a multi-million dollar facelift. The Halsey Institute of Contemporary Art is now home to a brand new set of classrooms and studios, as well as two brand new galleries on the first floor, which have played host to several renowned artists and contemporaries. The director and senior curator of the gallery, Mark Sloan, started his tenure in 1994 and has since witnessed the growth and evolution of the gallery into what it is today. He stated that, it was a long time coming, and I'm excited to have hands on new facilities. The Halsey Institute can be found at 161 Calhoun Street, and for more information, be sure to visit their website at halsey.cfc.edu. The halls may seem clear and uncluttered, but a closer look will show that even though the bulk of students have moved out of the dorms, there's still a great deal of treasure among the trash. Using a multitude of flyers, Residence Life and Housing is advertising their yearly Lighten Your Load Drive, which takes piles of unwanted but usable items, which will then be sold at the beginning of the fall semester to students moving in. Be sure to check with your resident assistant for the location of your building's drop-off box and a list of accepted items. Now for some CFC News Briefs. The Department of Computer Science now has 30 reasons to thank the people over at Google because of a recent donation. Chairman of, the Com Chairman of the Computer Science Department, Chris Starr, said that each computer also comes with cutting edge software that will be a big help to students studying the major. Want to learn more about the ropes as far as video production, editing, and animation? The Center for Documentary will be holding its final multimedia workshop of the year today from 6 to 8 p.m. It's free to attend and will be held in room 207 in the Education Center. In sports news, the CFC Sailing Team hosted the Intercollegiate Sailing Associations, or ICSA, Eastern Semifinal this past weekend with a second place finish. This will advance the team to the finals and will, that will be held June 1st through the 3rd in Madison, Wisconsin. Something strange will happen on Sunday, May 16th in Charleston. You'll be able to walk down King Street without narrowly squeezing past slow-moving tourists. An event dubbed Do the Charleston is taking over the streets between Calhoun and Clifford and giving back to pedestrians. This idea is to give everyone opportunity to make more leisurely of their walk down the iconic shopping strip. Well, that's going to do it for me and the final CFC scene for the semester. Good luck to all the graduating seniors that are going to be walking this Saturday, and I hope that everyone has a great summer. For CFC Scene, I'm Brian Wilder. Mm -hmm.